Good morning. This is Jim Ray with the Road to the Autry Masters, and we're here today with Nicholas Coleman. Uh, Nicholas was born in Provo, Utah in 1978. His work emphasizes the key elements of a good story, scene, structure, event, and plot. Every intentional brushstroke builds a story that evokes this common narrative of struggle, fortitude, and resiliency through both characters and uh, characterization. His romantic paintings inspire his audience to join his mission to preserve the fading heritage of the American West. Much of this is a result of his upbringing under his father, famed Western artist, Michael Coleman. He's featured in a number of very important collections around the country, uh, the Anschutz Collection in Denver, Colorado, uh, George Lucas's collection at Lucasfilm, Christopher Forbes of uh, Forbes in New York, uh, the Adirondack Museum in Blue Mountain Lake, uh, New York, He's featured at the Bass Pro Shops in Springfield, Missouri, and he's in the uh, Booth Western Art Museum in Carterville, Georgia. Uh, and he's also featured at the uh, Briscoe Museum in San Antonio. He's been in a number of high profile exhibitions over the course of his career, including the uh, Top 100 Arts for the Parks in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, the Masters of the American West, of course, at the, uh, uh, at the Autry Museum in the American West in Los Angeles, the Gilcrease Museum, American Art in Miniature Show in Tulsa, uh, the Great Works Small Works Wonders Show at the National Cowboy Hall of Fame in Oklahoma City, at the Coors Western Art Show, the Buffalo Bill Art Show and Sale, the C.M. Russell Museum Show and Sale, Western Visions at the Wildlife Museum in Jackson, Wyoming, and uh, importantly, the Briscoe uh, Western Art Museum, where he won the Artist Choice Award for Come and Take It in San Antonio. Welcome, Nick. How are you doing? Hey, good. Thanks for, yeah, this is fun. So before we get started, why don't you tell me a little bit about this incredible room we see in your background? This is, is this your studio? Yes. So actually right here is my easel and my my palette and everything. And my I, I have my phone resting on uh, kind of where my computer is and with all my paint sitting in front of it. And uh, yeah, so this and yeah, my windows are over here and and I have a couple of skylights to kind of to diffuse the light in here. So it keeps it nice and nice and even for me all day long. Seems like a sportsman's paradise up there. I see uh a, a number of trophies mounted on the on the beams and the ceiling i see what appears to be a lynx up there on the uh the top shelf and uh quite the place uh where are you located uh kind of in the foothills of the wasatch mountains in in provo utah okay great so um nick how would you describe your art tell us a little bit about what the the essence of your work is um yeah, yeah. So it's kind of uh, definitely you know Western uh, themed and and uh, you know living in the West and and I I grew up you know with my father uh, just loving everything he was always up to and I begged him to go on you know to take me you know fishing and hunting and and uh, and my parents also dragged me to a lot of museums which I didn't put up too much of a fight to go to and and uh, now I'm able to take my kids and uh, to museums and and uh, but definitely kind of kind of a realistic approach I guess I'm not a hyper realist or you know a photo realist um, you know I use photographs in my work and I, I make sketches and out in the field and I, I come home back to my studio and 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 get to work and and uh, but yeah just kind of uh, and, uh, you know I think my I think my work has a little bit of you know impressionistic feel to it you know things are tight where they need to be tight I think and then things are you know a little bit looser where they need to be looser and and uh, Whatever that makes me, I guess that's what I am. So, okay, good. So, um, you you were brought up under your father's tutelage. Um, tell us a little bit about how how his career has impacted your upbringing as an artist, and um, a, a little bit about the similarities and the differences between your work and his, and and uh, so forth. Yeah. So, like I said, yeah, growing up. Uh, in the early eighties in Provo, Utah, we, we used to live down kind of in the river bottoms. Um, and, uh, but just, I, I, I didn't know, you know, that anything should be different, you know, growing up my father being an artist and, and he was an artist, a full-time artist, even when I was growing up, uh, I'd wander into his studio, you know, that was kind of like this and kind of beg him to, to work on, you know, his paintings, my own paintings. I, you know, begged and, and to go to the art stores with him and, you know, get sketchbooks and pencils and, 
and you know that the latest Prismacolor box that had you know more colors in it. Um, and then also with in regards to you know, my father's work, he was always you know fishing and hunting and and I of all my siblings, I was the one that gravitated towards you know that kind of uh, life the most, I think, uh, as far as I know anyway. Um, but he would actually he was nice enough to mark off paintings or spots on his paintings where I could you know like under a rock or something where I could paint on his paintings. Uh, and even every once in a while I would sneak in when he wasn't in there to paint on his paintings. And I figured if I didn't get in trouble that I was doing a pretty good job, but uh, yeah. I'm sure he just kind of laughed and I didn't ruin too many things that badly for him. So, um, but that, yeah, just with our own experiences kind of overlapping and being together, he used to give me all kinds of books to read about, uh, you know, life and death in Yellowstone and bear attacks and, and the early, you know, mountain men and trappers, the, the historians and, and, you know, uh, Jim Bridger and and you know, all the fantastic history that that is the West and and Utah itself uh, has an amazing uh, history and heritage. You know, Provo, Utah was is actually named for a French uh, fur trapper uh, that came through in 1820 and just about got himself killed up Provo Canyon, which is you know 10 minutes from my house and and all the other funny little cities up up uh, Wasatch Front. You know, are named for our mountain men, you know, Draper and Ogden and. Um, uh, all, anyway, all these funny little towns that are, you know, people kind of miss the point of what, you know, who they're named after. And and, and, the, and that, that's kind of how I uh, like to paint this kind of remind us all of, of, you know, the certain histories that, you know, the good and the bad that, that were here you know, before us and, and that we can share in it. And, and, uh, and my, my father was very good at, he didn't know that's exactly what he was doing, but uh, he, he, he kind of showed me how to do it without meaning to exactly. And he even jokes that he was the worst teacher that I could have had. Uh, but I, I would disagree, obviously. And, and uh, you know, about 20 something years ago, my both my parents sat me down and asked me, you know, are you sure this is exactly, you know, this is what you want to do? You know, it's not, an, <laughs> it's not easy as it looks. And I thought, well, this is not, as, I never thought it was easy, but I can't imagine, you know, doing anything else. Um, you know, I definitely got kind of a, a mini apprenticeship under my, under my father, you know, getting things photographed, shipped, out uh you know i'd prime his boards for him stretch his canvases and you know get everything ready and you know by the time i was an adult i kind of knew i mean that's <laughs> i was doing it for myself by then and and uh I, I really can't imagine doing anything else great so uh what are you working on right now that excites you what's exciting about your career fill us in on uh, that part of uh, your life so yeah i can say there are all kinds of like being being an artist uh a painter I mean, you can you can really get you know focused on on certain um, elements in, in your in your work, and and you get you know you're excited for shows you know like like the Autry show, and, and you want to ooh I've been working on this neat thing or this you know fun idea that you know maybe I haven't tried out before. That those kinds of things get me excited, and and you know I've had museums say what on earth are you sending us this for, and and um, I haven't had that conversation with you, thank goodness, uh, <laughs> over the years, um, but. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting ready for a show up, up in Montana in the fall. Uh, all the while, I'm, I'm getting ready for the you know, master's show, you know, coming up in February. And, and I'm, I, I, be, uh, I get excited about you know sketches and I get excited about the next place I'm going to go visit up in the mountains. Or, or um, I, I was just in London with, with my son uh, looking at museums and it was really he's he's a budding sculptor at the moment. And he's been he's like someone who's OCD about, you know, and obsessive about sculpting is my son. And it was great to see, you know, I've been to so many museums and the same museums over and over just because I love them so much. It was fun to see through his eyes the excitement he actually got, because as a father, you kind of go, does he like it? Am I crazy to bring him here? And and uh, but it's, it's fun with children. Get, get, that gets me excited to seeing, you know, what they get excited about through their eyes and their artistic endeavors. and. And that kind of actually gets me excited to to get back to work and and to try you know new things and gives me kind of a re renewed um, sense of you know purpose and, and what I'm doing and what I'm trying to do with with each of my paintings and and really you know trying to make each one better than the last one or the next idea you know even more exciting and you know and a lot of it is you know subjective obviously and and but I think that's what keeps you know all 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 these artists you know going is is their enthusiasm is, is shared with so many like-minded people and i think that's what keeps all of us moving forward is is the shared enthusiasm for for art great 
Well, I, I think that's our time, Nick. Uh, thank you so okay. much for joining us. Uh, we look forward to seeing you at the uh, the Masters and um, uh, have a great uh, remainder of the summer and the fall. Hey, Talk thank you, you so much. Thanks, thanks for having me. See you later. Bye-bye.